We have a delicata squash. These are a little different. They're not a butternut. You see them at the supermarket. And I wanted to use this up because you see them in the winter and the fall. So we really want to use this up. I'm excited. Uh, we're going to use our knife and go with your hand down. It's really important. Go all the way through the middle. All the way straight through. And when you have your hand on top, you can like wedge it down to get your uh, center out like that. And what's going to happen is we're going to start to scoop out our seeds. So scoop out all your seeds in a bowl. There we go. Get all that out. You don't want to go too deep. Just enough to get to, to the surface of where the seeds are and you're good. Get our filling together, which is we have a half a cup of walnuts. We're going to do a pretty uh, fine chop on our walnuts. They don't need to be roasted. Just chop them pretty fine on your walnuts. That's going to be you start with a half a cup. You're going to have a little less than a half a cup once you chop these up. And those are good like that. Chop up our walnuts. Put those in a bowl. Okay. Next we have our breadcrumbs. So I'm using gluten free, but you can use whatever kind of breadcrumbs you want. I have a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Put those in there. I have Parmesan cheese. We're going to do about three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Put that in here. Grated Parmesan cheese, one, two, and three of our Parmesan cheese. We have our breadcrumbs in there, we have our walnuts in there. And next we're gonna put some oil. You can also put melted butter. We're gonna do two tablespoons of olive oil for this. Right there in with it, or you could use melted butter. Two tablespoons of olive oil or melted butter. And then we're gonna add some, a little sprinkle of salt and pepper to that. Sprinkle a little pepper and a little bit of salt. There you go, a little pepper and a little salt. If you wanna add some chopped garlic to this, you can, but we're kinda of keeping this recipe nice and simple. All right, we're gonna mix that all around. Our walnuts, Parmesan, breadcrumbs, olive oil, or melted butter. Get that all mixed around. Get it nice and moist, really important. And you can taste it a little bit too. If you think it's not, it needs a little more seasoning, check it out. But I'm really happy with that. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna stuff these just like that. Move that all around. Make sure that's really well mixed. And this mixture is gonna go right inside of our squash. We have our oven preheated to 375, just like that. We're gonna get ready to put that into the oven and our oven is preheated to 375. We're going to put those in the oven. We're going to give this about 30 minutes at 375. All right, it's been about 30 minutes. So we are golden brown and ready to go. All set. And it's soft. It feels soft on the side. So what you can do is you can slice this up when you serve it. So after they cool down a little bit, just cut them up into smaller pieces and you got like nice little portions there that you can put on your plate. I already set some out and when they reheat, they reheat really easily. So then when you eat them, you just like scoop it out real easily.